Hey guys, today's video is going to be the courtship book tag, which I'm really excited to do for you guys. So I'll just jump right in. And the first um, category is books that you bought based on the cover. And I have two books for this. The first of those books is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Blaney, Leoni Taylor, not sure about the name. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill and I looked at it and I vaguely remember putting it on my TBR list. I picked it up mainly because of the cover. I love my screen mask. I actually have one on my shelf. Um, I'll show you it some other time. I don't want to stand up and get it right now. But um, I actually got home after buying this book and realized this wasn't on my TBR. So it probably was the cover that influenced this purchase. And unfortunately, the book wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. It was all right. You know, good enough to keep but not fantastic. So the cover kind of lied to me there. <laughs> um, the next that I bought based on the cover is one that I just bought. It hasn't been in a haul or anything. And that is The Betrayal of the Blood Lily by Lauren Willig. And this book I just got at a um, bookstore at a library. I picked it up because of the cover. Basically, it looked like um, historical fiction, and I was like, oh, great, you know, I love historical fiction. Um, and I started reading it to quickly realize, A, it's not the first, um, book in the series. Also, B, it is exactly the type of book I don't like. It's a very, um, superficial, um, more about sex than a story type of, um, book so I stopped reading it before I finished it and I'm going to get rid of it and it's not even going to get to be in a haul because I'm that mad at it. <laughs> um, the next category is um, books that you bought because of the summary and that's usually how I buy most books. A few of them I look at reviews but usually I buy them based on the summary but these are ones that um, were like the best, biggest examples. I saw the summary and I thought I had to read it. And the first one is um, Across the Universe. Um, and this one, I read the summary and I was like, oh, I really think this will be an awesome story. I'll read it to you now so you can know what I mean. Um, a story of love, murder, and madness aboard an enormous spaceship bound for the future. Amy is cryogenically frozen passenger aboard the vast spaceship Godspeed. She expects to wake up on a new planet 300 years in the future. 50 years before Godspeed's scheduled landing, Amy's cryo chamber is unplugged and she is nearly killed. Now, in an enclosed world where nothing makes sense, Godspeed's passengers have forfeited all control to Eldest, a tyrannical and frightening leader, and Elder, his rebellious and brilliant teenage heir. Amy desperately wants to trust Elder, but can she? All she knows is that she must race to unlock Godspeed's hidden secrets before whoever woke her tries to kill again. Um, I was very interested with the concept of her being cryogenically frozen, and it reminded me of Fallout 4. If you have played that game, um, the main character that you play as gets cryogenically frozen and then um, unplugged before they're supposed to be. So it reminded me of that, and that's probably why I picked it up. And unfortunately, this is another one that I just wasn't satisfied with. Um, especially, it also has a gorgeous cover, and I've heard things about it. I've heard that it's good, and it was just all right. It was kind of weird. I don't know. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, oh, and then there's a second book for a book I bought because of the summary, and that is Last Call at the Nightshade Lounge. Um, I didn't buy this one, actually. I got it in a giveaway. But I entered the giveaway because of this um, summary. Demons are real, booze is magic, and a well-mixed cocktail is Chicago's only hope. 
Bailey Chen is fresh out of college with all the usual new adult demons. No cash, no job offers, and an awkward relationship with Zane, the old friend she kind of sort of hooked up with during high school. But when Zane introduces Bailey to his monster fighting bartender friends, her demons become a lot more literal. It turns out that evil creatures stalk the city streets after hours, and they can be hunted only with the help of magically mixed cocktails. Vodka grants super strength, whiskey offers the powers of telekinesis, and rum lets its drinker fire blast. Fire blasts of elemental energy. Sorry about that. <laughs> but will all these powers be enough for Bailey to halt a mysterious rash of gruesome deaths? And what will she do when the safety of a real world job beckons? So, um, I picked this up because it's a very interesting concept. Um, and yes, it actually turned out, um, I'm glad that I got this book because I liked it a lot and I read through it so quickly. Um, okay, the next category is books that are written beautifully. And I wasn't too sure what to pick for this one because, um, I don't really focus on the writing too much. I just focus on the plot and the story, character development, stuff like that. So I picked one that was kind of obvious and that's a book that's written in prose, um, one I've talked about before, Hideous Love by Stephanie Hemphill. Um, yeah, it's written in poetry, so um, it tends to be more um, beautiful, you know, than just regular writing. But yeah, that's why I picked, but I love all books. I don't judge them based on how beautifully they're written, so. Um, next books are books that you um, couldn't wait to read the rest of the series. So the first book I have for this is Wither by Laura DeStefano. Um, I read this last year, I think. I got it um, for Christmas or my birthday. I don't know. But I loved it so much and I'm so excited to read the second one. And I got the second one over the summer and unfortunately it was a bit down. Um, I saw the third one, but I like this first one much, much more than the second one. Um, and the next book is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I read this recently and I love it. It, um, it's so good. The writing is really good. Um, if you've read this book, you know, um, the one part where something is, not what you expect it to be, or someone. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you probably think, what the heck. But it's really good how that's um, kind of a plot twist. But yes, I'm excited to read the second one of this. Unfortunately, I don't have it yet, so I'll have to wait a bit. Um, the next category is a book that kept you up all night. And I picked this one. I don't know if it kept me up all night exactly, but I read straight through it and just, you know, one sitting, I think, maybe two sittings, you know, just quickly. And that is um, Shatter Me by Tara Moffey. Um, Yeah, so I picked it because I read through it quickly. Okay. Um, the next category is a book that you could be thinking about. For this one, I picked The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, I read this. Uh, oh... In the spring-ish, winter-ish, and I still love it. I'm still obsessed with it, even though it's been months. Um, yeah, I loved it, and I could not stop thinking about it after I read it, and I still think about it now. Um, the next category is a book that you like the feeling of, like physically. Um, I didn't know really what to pick for this one, so I picked So Shelly by by Ty Roth. Um, I like the hardcover. Um, it's the type of hardcover without the like um, the, the, the the thing. I can't think of what it's called. The dust thing. You know what I mean. Um, it's just the way they're printed on the cover. Like, let's see, that's it. Um, I don't know. I like this. I like the sound it makes when, and it. You open it. I don't know. That's weird, but that 
that's why I picked it. I didn't really know what to pick. Um, the next category is about what you would recommend to your friends and family. I have two for this one. Um, the first is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. And I picked this one because it's kind of, it's the kind of book that everyone can appreciate. Except I gear it more towards women. I don't know how many men would like this because it's a bit sappy, you know, sad. Um, but, yeah, um, anyone can enjoy it no matter what genre you like. Um, the next book is Every Day by David Levithan and because it has more of like a life lesson type of thing that everyone could um, stand to learn from. Um, and that it, um, this sort of subject matter, like anyone could enjoy. Um, the last category is a book that you would read over and over again. And for this one, I picked When the Sea is Rising Red by Kat Hallison. This one I picked just because it, um, has such interesting, interesting concepts. Um, I've only read it once, but I'm probably going to read it again soon because I'm already starting to kind of forget the details of it, and I did enjoy the unusualness of it. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm going to probably be reading that again and more times in the future. So that was the trip tag. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!